Most people are aware of climate change and the carbon dioxide that we're putting out from our cars and industry is really driving that. But people are less aware of the fact that once that carbon dioxide gets into the water, into the ocean, it causes it to acidify, so the pH in that water goes down. And that's not good for a lot of the organisms that live in there. I mean, we're all familiar with seeing these shells lying around the beaches, or at least, you know, when we catch power or, or mussels, for example, you know, they've got that, that nice carbonate shell that protects them, but actually, as the ocean becomes more acidic, that shell becomes weaker. Yeah, there's the empty line at the back Yeah, there. the empty, yeah. so we'll put the current meter on there. Imagine the tons and tons of mussels that they've pulled up. There's lots of shell lying around and that is calcium carbonate. And if we can get that back into solution in the water around a mussel farm, that will actually benefit the mussels. At night when the carbon dioxide is very high, the air drives it out of the water. And so in other words, you know, we're protecting the, the mussels at the, the worst time of day, really. Well, at the moment we've done a lot of laboratory experiments and so now this is the second stage where we're finding out where we would put it on the farm, where we'd put the waste shell, where we would put the bubble lines, things like that. So it's, this uh, two days is going to give us a lot of information.